Hey, welcome. Um, I get asked this a lot when people want to bring images into their Cricut Cut designs. So I thought I would take a moment since somebody asked me to do uh, a Lego kind of shirt. I thought this would be a great opportunity since I don't have any Legos to show you how, how this is really done. So what's basically going to happen is we need an image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to search by Lego. And I put black and white on the end. I really only want shaped images and images that are going to copy well in um, or cut well for vinyl. So generally black and white images get you kind of in the area where you need to be. The next thing you need to look for are um, free uh, clip arts. You don't want to use vector st stock or uh, things that are owned by different companies, but somebody, somebody's hand-drawn and they're freely giving away. And this happens to be one of the images that I found. Um, there's a lot of different stuff that you can pick from on the Internet to find that you could possibly cut, and you just got to find what works best for you. I particularly like this design. Um, if you notice when I hover over it, the 920 by 920, this is a rather large image. You can go into the website and actually get a larger image, but that image is plenty big for what we need. So what, what I do is just right-hand click and copy image. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open my Inkscape and open a new document. Inside of here, I'm going to right-hand click and I'm going to paste that image that I just found on the Internet. Notice that I, I have all this stuff that I want to start copying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Path, and where it says right here, Trace Bitmap. You, or you could use your, your Shift-Alt-B to bring up this. I'm just going to click right here, which will bring up my tool for tracing bitmaps. If you notice, it's, it's highlighted and the image shows over here what it's going to actually try to copy and what your copy is going to really look like. If it's grainy or if it doesn't look right or if it doesn't have the aspects you want or has too many aspects in it, you can use this threshold to increase or decrease the, uh, the threshold on it. Um, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'm going to take it way up there. See how it's got all these boxes in here. If I wanted all those boxes copied in, I could. Um, I don't, so I'm going to kick it back down to where pretty close to where it was of 0.45. And then I'm going to hit apply. What it's going to do is it's going to create my box. And what it does is it allows me to do anything I want to do with this at any point. I could go in and say, hey, I want this to be a three-pegged Lego. I could go in and literally remove anything out of the pieces I want. And not have a Lego and have a three-legged Lego if I wanted to. Um, it does allow you to manipulate the image or put multiple images together and start stitching things together. Um, I, I do want that piece, so I'm going to hit Control-Z and put my image back together. Um, this page is eight and a half by 11, so this cube is absolutely huge. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click the select tool or transfer tool, which is just a pointed arrow. Um, this is highlighted. I'm gonna lock my image because I don't want the sizing to get distorted. And I'm gonna shrink it down. It's just too big and I just kinda need it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to save this to my Inkscape file as a Lego. So now I can just flip over to my Cricut Cut design. Um, I'm using a desktop uh, saved version and not the internet version. So if mine looks a little different, that's what I did differently. I'm going to click New Project. I'm going to click Upload. And I'm going to upload the Lego. So I'll scroll down to Lego. See that my image looks good. Upload. 
and now I can grab it and I can add it to my my image. So now I could take this Lego and if I wanted to I could go straight to and just make it. It's ready to cut, it's ready to go. Um but I don't and I want to add some aspects to it, so I'm gonna add text and I'm gonna add um I hope and then they wanted the next text piece to be um where is the next piece? Step. On a. There you go. So now all you would simply do is you would just grab these aspects and get them all kind of organized to what you wanted. So uh, allows you to shrink it. Kind of get it into place, get a feel for it. Also allows you to highlight these and we can align them um, vertically. The wrong one. Highlight them and center. Oop, align. Center horizontally. And that gets everybody centered. And then you can kind of adjust everybody that doesn't quite look right. And then I can bring my Lego down. And now I can make sure that these these letters stay the same. I can choose any font I want. I'm not really getting hung up on fonts because you could change the font sizes. I'm just showing you how you can bring it together, lock it together because I want it to cut together. And then I can set my Lego to whatever size Lego I want for this image. Highlight everybody, group it. And now I can size everybody to whatever size I need because now I have a really good idea of, okay, this is four inches across and nine inches long, which would be good for a kid's T-shirt. Um, and all you do now is just go to make it. And the image is there and your lettering is there. Or you could have done it in the same color. But I just was showing it in two different colors. Thank you. And this concludes my tutorial of how to get an image into Cricut Cut. Thank you.